Those are bathtub toys. It's straight up bass bait right there. We're turning these bathtub toys into a fishing lure. I don't care what it takes. We're doing it. All right, guys. So we're trying to figure out how to put these together. I've run into a couple of issues. I've ruined three, three of the uh, toys and I got to make this work. I mean, these things are so cool. They swim so naturally they are activated by the water so like right now you don't have to worry about turning the battery on and off it it gets activated by the water so you know in this case if you if you hold in push on the sides you can get it to activate and you'll see it goes it goes through like different cadence so it'll go slow and then it'll speed up and then it'll go slow and I mean, it just swims so naturally. I mean, it's basically suspends. So it looks great in the water. I mean, you saw it in the bathtub. I mean, it looks like I've got minnows swimming around in the bathtub. So I got to figure out how to make it work. The first couple things that I've tried, and I know what my problem is. So that I drilled some holes in. You can see I drilled some holes in, I mounted some eyes, a hook eye down here. I did the same thing here. This was my initial one. I, the tail is off right now, but so my plan was I would, I would thread the line through this eye and then come down through here and put a treble hook on the back. So the bait would slide freely. If you caught a fish, the bait would slide freely away from the treble hook, which is what I want because I don't want to I don't want to bang up the lure. I don't know how sturdy the plastic is, so I don't really want to mount the hook directly to the bait because I'm worried that it'll just pull right out of the bait and just, you know, ruin the bait and I'm done with it. So this didn't work and I did the same so on on so this was the first one I did. What I what I realized after I finished it was this is all magnet driven in the back and with this the eye i don't know if you can see it but so the the screw eye goes in and then comes down about halfway and it sits like almost right in the middle of the magnets throws the magnets right off so it won't it won't work uh so that's no good so then i thought well okay let's let's just run it I won't put the screw eye in the back section. I'm going to run the line through and then I'll take like a little tiny like dental rubber band and put the put the tre put the rubber band on the back, slide the line through it, tie the treble on, and then the treble hook is is mounted there. Again, the problem with that is the treble hook throws off the magnets. So that one was no good. And then I was playing around with this one just to see what would set the magnets off. And I there's the little magnet that goes back and forth in the middle of it got thrown out of whack. So now you can see the little metal part is sitting down in the bottom here. Uh, yeah, it won't really shake around, but it should be sitting between the two magnets. So that one's no good. So what I'm gonna do is instead of mounting the eye on the front which won't do me much good if you know if i just tie the treble hook here i don't want that it's gonna bring the bait down it's not gonna work so i think what i'm gonna do is mount the eye right in front of this dorsal fin because that's really the only place i can do it because you got the magnet area back here that won't work the middle section is like a separate sealed off section with the batteries so I don't want to touch that, and the front is basically just a hollow area that you know I I know I can get a a, a hook eye into. So I'm gonna or a screw eye into. So I'm gonna put it there, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the treble hook to it and keep the treble hook on the front, and I think I'm gonna put this under a, a bobber under a float just like a shiner fisherman would, and that'll keep the bait here, and then this thing will just swim around under the bobber. That's the only thing I can figure at this point. So I'm going to rig up a couple of these and I'll show you when I'm done. 
it's been a little bit more tedious than I thought it would be, but uh, I really think that this has potential. So I'll check back in with you. Well, it's uh, about 24 hours after I filmed that tidbit yesterday and I went ahead and I took these three and I just mounted the line tie at the top and everything seems to be working fine so that's good because a couple of the ones before like I said if you get too close to those magnets it throws the magnets off in this case they all work just fine and you know I, I think they're gonna work and really all I'm gonna do is take the line thread it through the eye and then I'm gonna tie a treble hook onto the other side so that'll keep the bait on the bait will slide up and down if there's a fish on uh, otherwise you know I'm gonna just suspend this under a bobber let this thing swim around and you know with that with that the the hook should stay right up tight to the uh, to the line tie and it should be all good so if a fish eats it they get the hook and then when I'm fighting it just like a line through swim bait the bait slides away so I'm looking forward to it uh, biggest issue right now is if you look outside we got a bunch of a bunch of snow and it's just not uh not at all what we need to test these out so i think i might take a little trip and see how they work i'll check in with you in a few days all right everyone we are down in florida with the one and only Miles Berghoff to try our floating bathtub toy. Miles thinks it won't work. Miles hasn't seen it in the water Terrible yet. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. I'm going to show all of you first. Look at that minnow. It actually does look Just good. sitting there floating around. Oh my gosh. Which is going to kick into high speed. Guys, I think we can do it. Let's give her a whirl. Never, never gonna catch one. of time and I'm not saying that it won't work but Lake Okeechobee is being extremely stingy right now over the course of three days we've caught a handful of fish it's really been really tough so I don't know that I've given my bathtub toy a fair shot it will come out at some other time I'll give it another try but for now I'm putting it on the back burner ending Ex the video excuses 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 is all I hear right now the fishing has been awesome. We've been catching them like crazy. It's just a bath toy. It just doesn't work. It's a bathtub and it will work. I'll make it work. We'll do another video. Over and out, guys.